Imagine you just started a new job, whether in your current organization or a new one. This means you're bound to encounter some unfamiliar tasks. If you're anything like us, you'll try to find ways to learn and bridge any of your knowledge gaps. In bigger companies, this learning is facilitated by a dedicated person or even a whole team. They specialize in everything from training and online courses to coaching and mentoring, leadership development, and so much more. These are your learning and development professionals, or L&D for short. Hello and welcome to the L&D Academy. My name is Irina and I've been a learning and development professional since 2011. And today we're answering the question, what do L&D practitioners do all day? Indeed, there aren't just hosting team building trustfuls or endlessly rearranging training room chairs. So let's find out together. How does L&D bring value to the business? To understand what L&D does, we first need to understand how they bring value to the business. In other words, why even bother have an L&D person or an L&D team or department? Trust me, there are some good reasons. For one, L&D helps upskill employees and ensure they have the necessary competencies to perform their roles effectively. And this in turn leads to improved overall performance and personal productivity. L&D also nurtures leaders and managers and equips them with the skills they need to lead their teams manage projects, and drive organizational success overall. L&D plays a big role in boosting employee engagement and satisfaction by investing and creating learning opportunities for everyone. Another important value add of the L&D department is the cultivation and promotion of a continuous learning culture in which employees are motivated to acquire new skills and new knowledge. If the organization is going through any significant changes, L&D can truly help by preparing employees for new processes, for new technologies and strategies, ensuring a smooth transition and continued operational efficiency. Finally, a big reason you want to have an L&D team, or at the very least an L&D person in your organization, is to improve teamwork and collaboration among employees, which are essential for effective and efficient operations in any modern business. Key L&D Responsibilities the most common association people have with learning and development is training. But that is only a very small part of what L&D does. As a matter of fact, most L&D practitioners don't set foot in a training room for months on end, if at all. So then what do they do? Well, the simple answer is that they follow the L&D cycle. This is a four-stage act that transforms raw skills into polished talents. The first step is to identify the learning needs. In other words, who needs to learn, what do they need to learn, when should they learn it, and what's the best way for them to learn it. Imagine L&D as detectives sniffing out and uncovering the mystery of missing skills, knowledge, or behaviors. At this stage, L&D usually finds out whether training is the right way forward or whether something else is needed, like workshop, teamwork, coaching, job aid, online course, or something else entirely. Next, they morph into artists, designing learning programs with the creativity of Picasso, but thankfully more comprehensible. In this stage, creativity takes the front seat. Our L&D experts become architects of knowledge, designing tailor-made learning programs. They mix and match learning methods and content, creating a blueprint for success. Then it's time for delivery. This is where the magic happens. L&D practitioners step into the spotlight, delivering engaging and effective learning be that training or something else, like an action learning set, a project, a mentor, and so on. They're like conductors of an orchestra, ensuring each note of learning resonates with the audience. The final act involves critical analysis, in other words, evaluation. Here, L&D donned the hat of a meticulous scientist evaluating the impact of the learning activity with the precision of a lab tech analyzing a petri dish. It's the feedback loop that keeps the cycle spinning, ensuring continuous improvement and growth. Through the cycle, they transform mundane corporate learning into an art form, ensuring that employees don't just learn, but thrive. For example, L&D could turn a dull Excel training into an exciting treasure hunt for formulas, or they might organize a team cooking challenge that sizzles with teamwork and leadership lessons. Typical L&D activities. L&D activities stem from their responsibilities. In other words, almost everything L&D does should be part of one of the four stages of the L&D cycle. Here's a list of some of the more common activities L&D usually engages in. 
First up, they're always busy identifying what skills are missing in the organization. It's all about figuring out what everyone needs to learn. As a matter of fact, if you see someone from L&D in a meeting, chances are they're having a needs analysis conversation. Be that for a training, team working session, workshop, leadership development, or a performance improvement of a particular employee. Then L&D is putting together training or more general learning programs. And trust me, they make sure these are perfectly tailored to everyone's needs. Oh, and they're constantly developing learning materials. You know, like those job aids, infographics, articles, and videos we all see on the internet. L&D are also the ones leading all those interactive training sessions and workshops. Quite the task, right? And let's not forget they're designing those online courses we take. It's a mix of tech skills and creativity there. Big part of their job is also providing one-on-one -on -one guidance in the form of coaching or mentoring. They help employees develop specific skills and competencies, help them solve challenging problems, and find a resolution to conflict situations. They work closely with managers too, helping them address any performance issues and boost team efficiency. They're shaping future leaders as well, designing training and learning specifically for them. They're also usually involved in thinking big picture and implementing strategies to improve the whole organization. For all the new hires into the business, L&D makes sure that onboarding process is smooth and informative so everyone can jump on board as soon as possible. They also help plan out career paths for employees and figure out leadership succession plans. They define the skills and the behaviors needed for different roles within the entire company. And they manage those learning management systems, making sure everything runs smoothly. They create initiatives to keep us all happy and engaged at work. Really importantly, they conduct training to make sure our workplace is inclusive and welcoming for everyone. They also ensure we're all up to date with legal and ethical standards. They plan those team building events that help us bond and work better together. They're always analyzing data to check how effective the training is. And they deal with external training providers, making sure we get the top-notch learning resources. They're constantly encouraging us to keep learning and growing. They spend a lot of time in meetings discussing strategies and feedback. L&D also works with other departments to make sure our learning aligns with the company's goals. They stay on top of the latest L&D trends and technologies, always learning something new. And lastly, they're always interacting with everyone involved in learning, from employees to their managers, HR, and even the executive board. Chances are we might have missed an activity or two. If we did, let us know down in the comments. But what does all of this mean? Well, if you see your local friendly L&D person running in and out of meetings or staring at their computer with this weird expression on their face, chances are they're doing one or maybe even more of the activities in our list. Go say hi, we'd love to chat no matter how full our plate is. And there you have it. We've peeled back the curtain to reveal the dynamic world of learning and development. From the initial spark of identifying learning needs to the creative artistry of designing engaging programs and the grand finale of delivering and evaluating them, L&D is far from just fun and games. We've also discovered that L&D practitioners are involved in a whole lot more than just training sessions. They're the architects behind the scenes, meticulously crafting learning experiences, fostering leadership and championing a culture of continuous improvement. Whether they're analyzing data to fine tune their strategies, collaborating across departments, or simply keeping their skills sharp with the latest trends, L&D professionals are always on the move. So the next time you bump into your L&D team, remember, they're not just planning the next team building event or wrestling with PowerPoint slides. They're the unsung heroes shaping the learning landscape of your organization, ensuring everyone from the newbie to the seasoned pro continues to grow, thrive, and excel. Keep an eye out for their next act of learning wizardry. If you're itching to dive deeper and truly master the art of L&D, we've got just the thing for you. Join our comprehensive online video course, Learning and Development Fundamentals. This course is your gateway to becoming an L&D superstar, packed with practical insights, real-world examples, and interactive content is designed to take you from a curious learner to an L&D maestro. Whether you're just starting out in L&D or looking to polish your skills, 
This course is your one-stop destination. Enroll now and embark on an exciting journey of learning and growth. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching till the end. If you have any questions or ideas about future videos, please let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more L&D content. Good luck and I'll see you in the next one.